All right, hey guys, um, I'm Chase, joined by Graham and Timothy. This is gonna be another episode of something that we did uh, a lifetime or two ago called How Familiar, where an uninvested third party picks random items from within the shop, and then we blindfold ourselves, and we try to by like touching and feeling the garment. Guess what the garment is. Um, it was really fun the first time, or maybe a couple times we did it. Two but times. yeah, two times, so yeah, it'll be really fun. I think the first time we did it, uh, it was like pre-pandemic and we were all super familiar with everything, but right now we're getting a ton of new product in, so I do think this is gonna be like pretty hard. So yeah, so um, I guess we'll just hop into it. Timothy will go first, because he's our boss. So he's gonna go first. I can see nothing. All right. I'm gonna receive it. Okay. All right, starting out here. We're feeling its body. It's, I gotta, I feel like the first thing to do is to orient it. So, okay, that's buttons, so they don't go to the side. Okay, I think I have it d directionally correct now. And I feel like you guys would be laughing if I had it upside down. <laughs> okay, so I'm just feeling out for anything that's like notable. Like, for example, whatever I just hit on here, I got pockets in the side of it. And they're inset pockets like directly into the, the hem. Now I'm gonna feel for something that I, that's like notable about it. So that's not doing anything for me. Hmm. The texture is just like, it's just like twill. I'm not getting anything there. So I'm gonna feel the collar, and this feels like something. It's weird because the collar on it, it's like a naragi, I can tell. It's a naragi or a cardigan of some kind, because there's no collar on it at all. And there's like a lot of texture here, and actually, it's like padded here, so that's interesting. I feel like I'm close. I feel like I might, I can't, it's like I, I, I know this now, but I can't think of what it is. I feel like it's, it has to just be like, uh, if, you, if you don't get it and you see it, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I don't want to, I don't want a clue though, because it's like, I, I have it, I think. I just can't think of like what, because I know that like we have, a, we have like a Naragi thing that has like a padded collar. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what it is. I'm gonna double check. Cause this should, cause there is like texture on like the one side now that I'm feeling. And now what I'm feeling for is like, I think there's like some velour to it. If I'm, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm ready to lock in an answer. I, I'm not, the thing is I'm not positive the full name, but it's a capital, it's not the Kakashi cause that's the thinner one, it's the, I'm not gonna remember the exact name, so I don't know if I get points off for that, but it's the, oh, like, like doTERRA remake or something like that? It's the, it's the Naragi that's got the, like, burrow on the, on the, like, collar-ish thing. Hmm. Is that off? No. Wait, hold on. If I, I'm lock, I'm gonna lock it in. I can't think of the name. I, I think it's, like, doTERRA or something like that, but it's, it's the, it's the, it's the Naragi with the, this is, like, like, burrow, and there's, like, some velour stuff on it. I don't know what color it is. Should I guess? Yeah. Yeah, yes. guess. Well, I'm gonna guess the blue because I think the blue has more going on on the collar and then the green one has more stuff going on here and it doesn't feel to me like there's anything going on here. So that would be my like, guess, but I, I don't know because I think the green one only really has like drawings on it. So I don't know. I guess we'll say blue, but I don't okay. know. Okay, remove your blindfold. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> how, how off was I with the, oh God, it's like being snow blind. <laughs> what was the, uh, what's the name of it? Is uh, that it? IDG Tiger Juban shirt. Juban. Right. Juban was the, was the yeah. word, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I yeah. feel like you get like half a panel. Okay. 
I wish you guys could see how Chase is sitting over here. Yeah. He's on top of a stool, on top of a riser. <laughs> Blind as a bat. I can't see anything outside my eyes! Chase, you gotta get it as tight as you did last time where you couldn't breathe. <laughs> I was even holding my head up like this. <laughs> Alright. If anyone's listening and they want to go back and watch the original one just to see how tight he has it around his nose as well. <laughs> he still has it. It's yeah, still the same. so tight. <laughs> We're good. I can't see anything. Okay. Okay. Well, it's denim. It's a heavier weight denim. I would say it's definitely, like, see, this is the thing. Like, if we are playing, oh, what is a game show that you get points for being quick? You know what I'm saying? If this were Jeopardy, I would have already called in and said I know what it is. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you guys through it because I have a couple ideas. So, it is a denim jacket. It's quite starchy. It's on the heavier end, so I know it's not gonna be like an Orslo jacket because usually that's like 12 and a half. Uh, you know, whatever, square yard, the way they measure fabric. So, it's denim, um, it's two symmetrical pockets that are more squared off, and there isn't like that sort of like thing running along here that would be like a type three, you know? Like a type three is gonna have the two pockets, but it's gonna kinda taper off, and then it's gonna have these lines going all the way down to the bottom hem, so it's like, it's definitely a type two. It has these little uh, adjusters here on the bottom. Um, I'm thinking it would be an Oni Type 2 just because of how thick the denim is, but there's, I'll be able to figure that out. Well, I don't even know if I'll be able to tell Oni branding. It's got a leather patch. It might be leather. Yeah, it's like a thin leather patch. There's, I'm not able to like make out any of the letters though, but it's definitely like debossed. Um... What else could, what else would be a good marker? The buttons maybe? But the buttons have a texture, but it doesn't seem, I wanna say that the Oni denim jackets, at least at one point had like, the name was on the button, but this seems more like it's just like a texture. I'm not getting like any like letter forms or anything. So, um, there's no like branding patch or anything along the bottom of the pockets. Ooh, ooh, there are side pockets. Ah, hold on. Viz also does the type two with pockets. But you know, I feel like Viz does like that starchy thing where everything's dry, but this seems to be too heavy for it, for it to be like a Viz piece. So even as I'm like instinctually buttoning this bottom button, it's just like, a honker to get through there. So I would say, I'm not gonna know the name off the top, but I'm pretty confident it's an Oni Type 2 denim jacket, maybe like their secret denim, which I think we still have some of those around. It's just like, it's too heavy to be Viz Vim. Is that your final answer? Um, hold on. There's no sizing underneath the patch, so maybe it's, maybe that is a, or sizing over here. It's not, there's no like extra thing, so it's not like a capital jacket I'm forgetting about because they do like that little extra square that has that metallic number. Yeah, Oni Type 2, I would say in either like their secret denim or if we still have it, I think maybe we had it in like their double indigo, but now I'm saying that, I don't think so. But I would say it's an Oni Type 2 final answer. That is correct. <laughs> Dope, I was right. Type 2 jacket, 20 ounce dark secret denim. Yeah, secret Technical denim, the type thing. 2 secret denim. That's pretty cool. Mm. Or, what, you or, or, or tie or <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm just giving you a forewarning. This is only my third month at the shop, so I'm fully expecting to lose. However, we're gonna give it <laughs> a good shot. And, um, Give it the old Mansfield try. <laughs> <laughs> it might come to the good old Mansfield quitting. So <laughs> let's do this, Abby. I can't see. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Lay it on me. 
right? I feel like this is a good one. Yeah. All right. So, like Timothy said, I'm just trying to get it lined up. All right. Let's see. Definitely a warmer piece. It's not like super breathable. Let's see. There's a lot going on. <laughs> you can feel the tag. Let's feel the tag a little bit more. <laughs> okay, let's see. If I try to talk too much too, I'll just like not focus <laughs> on what I'm feeling. It's just gonna watch people's hands. Yeah, but Chase's hands this, are like, it's like octopuses. <laughs> and it's interesting because I do the product photography, so I'm just trying to lay it out like I would if I was laying it out. Okay, do we have... Where, I don't even know where I am. Okay, we got the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a pocket here. Oh my god, I'm like lost on the piece. <laughs> <laughs> this is painful. Okay, hold on. I feel a lot going on. I feel like, I feel like I have an idea what it is, but it, gosh, when you watch people do it, it's like so easy, and then you think you would know what it is, and then you put on a blindfold and you're just lost. Um, okay, I have an idea what it is, I just don't want to guess, because I feel like if I guess it's wrong, it's just going to be bad. Well, walk us through your thought process. Yes, okay, what I'm, what I'm thinking is this. <laughs> there's, I feel like there's multiple pieces stitched together. Obviously, it's like a button down of some sort. I know that. I'm not that lost. Um, I feel like here there's a new piece, here there's a new piece, here there's a new piece. Okay. I feel like I know what this is. I kind of want to give my final answer because I don't know what... Okay, we're ready for it. Okay. I think that this is a needles flannel. That is correct. <sighs> Remove your blanket, your blindfold. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> seven, pet, seven pets flannel. <laughs> Took me a while. It is hard though, this like when you don't, it. when you're seven blindfolded, pets. it's like a lot harder. I got it though. <laughs> yeah, good shit. Right. That was a good one. It's a, uh, why is it so natural that you want to like look up like this? I don't know, that's what I was doing too. <laughs> and then I all cocked back. I forgot I was supposed to be talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's definitely pants because it's got a weird little, it's got a little back pocket, a little inset pocket. Now, I'm feeling fabric because I feel like that, that'll be my first clue if it's something, if it, at least it would weed out if there's anything like interesting or super unique about it, I'd, ha I'd, I'd be able to do that. Okay, so it's draw. It's a drawstring waist for sure, and it's an elastic waist. So now I'm running through in my head what we have in that ca category, and I just touched something that, if I'm being honest, completely, I got it, or at least I got. I'm closer because the tag was on it, and I can feel that the tag is like wrinkled, and that means it's or slow. So if it has an elastic waist and it's or slow and it's drawstring, this is a New Yorker pant. Oh, hold on, let me make sure it's a pant. Yeah, a pant. I'll lock it in. Final answer? Yep. Do you want to take a guess on the yeah, color? Yeah, the color. Well, I mean, like that, because it's ripstop, so because I can feel it with my fingernails when I run it across, because mm -hmm. you can feel a little stitching in it. But I think all the colors we have are ripstop. Um, I don't know, olive? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got me. Uh, hold on. I know it. Hold on. I know it. Great, great coddle jacket. Yeah. I'm the best. Oh man. I didn't need to look. I knew it was it. I knew it the second it touched my skin. Coddle's super special, so as soon as this hit my hand, I knew that it was either this jacket or the indigo one, because they have like this ultra neppy fabric. So I really didn't even need to feel beyond that. But then like I felt the, the buttons and they're like, 
pretty sturdy, but more than anything, I knew that what would tell me between it, the indigo and the gray jacket would be like this sort of like lapel collar detailing up here. So, I mean like, yeah, I don't want, it wasn't like a super easy one, I just think Cottle's super recognizable. But those are the things that jumped out at me right away. It was like, I just knew that the first thing I did was I felt the hem and it wasn't a flat hem like the indigo one. And then up top, the collar, I could just feel a little point. So I, you know, I was just trying to keep it honest with you guys. I wasn't gonna milk it. I'm just, I'm just the bomb and I knew what it was. So I figured we'd just call it out, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Another shirt, another button down. Okay, let's see. I'm not getting anything yet. Just trying to feel out for any toe. What is that? Definitely something on the front. What do we got on the back? Definitely some type of design. I'm feeling like stitching. Oh, okay, I think I know what it is. Can I guess? Sure. Okay, is it the Samuel Zellig portrait shirt? <laughs> yes. Let's go! We're ready to make it. Yeah, I could tell right when I started touching this. All right, so that was another episode <laughs> of How Familiar. Uh, like, as an internal note, Graham did like really well for his first time. Like he was definitely kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we we've been talking about it. What we want to do next time is we want to do it where we have to get like as many as we can in like a certain amount of time. And yeah. then I feel like that makes you like make decisions faster than you yeah. might make mistakes or you might pass because you're not sure. I feel like that would make it more difficult because we're getting these pretty quick. Yeah. I I still think we I think the only disadvantage we had is Abby picked the items and she doesn't she's not trying to fool us as much as we'd be trying to fool each other yeah yeah so maybe there's that I also just think that maybe we, everyone's just good at what they do so yeah that's also okay. <laughs> so I don't know yeah so like lots of new stuff but we, we kind of got it yeah did you like doing it Graham yeah, yeah. no it was super good I like that's it. good all right well you, I don't do these that often. Yeah. I don't know how to wrap them up. <laughs> well, how about uh, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, anything else, um, suggestions for other series, if you have maybe like a scheme to make this sort of game, like bump it up a notch. Um, yeah. yeah. We want to sweat a little bit. Here. Yeah, if you could like, if you guys can like put together some sort of game that would like really get us cooking, that would be cool because this was fun, but I think we're looking for like, that next level of hard, you know what I mean? So like, like these are like, if you went to Buffalo Wild Wings and you got like mild, and I want hot. What if we did like Squid Game? Like Squid Game? Well, I would love to figure that out. We'll get, we'll figure we something out. out. Way too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, any sort of game, any any suggestion, anything you want to say, really, we're all we're all uh, ears or game. So. Um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching, uh, be in touch, and we'll see you soon.